The MRC Centre represents one of the biggest concentrations of people working in psychiatric genetics in the world. Cardiff is a major player in the world in psychiatric genetics, but the MRC Centre has provided huge impetus in building critical mass that's enabled us to achieve so much. Establishing the centre was uh, really a dream come true for me. It was uh, something we'd been working for for about 10 years. Very satisfying to see us grow from a small psychiatric department to you know, a large internationally recognised research centre. The MRC Centre has meant that I have been able to work with some bright, focused individuals. What they have done has made a difference to our understanding of many diseases and I'm very proud of that. Without the centre we wouldn't be anywhere near where we are in understanding what causes disease and how we can build on these discoveries to find therapies and drugs to help people suffering from these conditions. I think this centre is really important because it brings together so many very talented individuals from different fields. So we have people with many different specialties and it's only really that we make the great breakthroughs when people from all these different specialties work together. For me, the most important aspect has been the diverse range of people that work here. And that really encourages collaboration both within the centre and beyond and can really enable you to take a different perspective on your own research. And I think the centre has really been crucial to the development of psychiatric genetics in making new gene discovery and in trying to link that to brain and behaviour. The MRC Centre has been absolutely instrumental in our doing genetic work. We have the kit to do the work, but perhaps critically what we also have is people available to do the sorts of analysis that need to be done in order to correctly identify the therapeutic targets. Because the whole point of the centre is to start with the genetics and to translate that out into therapies and benefits for patients. I think one of the most important aspects of the work of the MRC Centre has been public engagement. It's no good if we just do our science no matter how good it is. You actually want to get it out to people and I think the MRC Centre has really made sure that this has been an important focus. It isn't just doing the science. After I was diagnosed with ADHD it gave me and Dylan this bond that would never have been there before. I mean, the MRC have kind of shown us that although in a lot of cases ADHD is genetic, it's kind of just glued us together even more. We are so alike. We sit there, we have this sparkle between us. Without the MRC, we wouldn't have that. It was a massive, massive turning point in my life. Some will say the centre was set up at the right time, you know, we were fortunate. But we have, I think, lived through a time of unprecedented success in psychiatric genetics. And I believe that we've played a strong part of that. It's been a long road to get here. The centre and those involved in psychiatric genetics have been trying to make these discoveries for 30 or 40 years. And within the last five years, I think we've, we've made advances that there haven't been for the hundred years before that. But we need to continue and we've got as approaches that we know can pay dividends, but we need to continue to invest in the resource and the expertise around those resources.